Okay, question. How do Hawaii shipments work? Okay, it's not complicated. It's very, very, very simple, really. Regardless as to where you're at in the country, uh, your car is gonna have to get shipped to the West Coast, most likely Los Angeles or San Diego. Uh, if you're already in the upper Northwest, then you can also ship it to Seattle. And uh, typically one of two companies will be hauling it. It'll be Matson or Pasha Hawaii. Um, but really it's quite simple. Uh, usually you just need your vehicle registration. You need a copy of the title. Um, if you have any liens on the car, a lot of times you have to like get a release from the bank or the financial institution to allow you to ship it. Um, but otherwise, if you actually own the car, uh, it's very simple. Just copy the title, copy the registration. You sign one form a lot of times with Pasha or we can sign it uh, on your behalf. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then uh, it just gets, there's two legs to it. So it gets picked up by the trucking company and hauled to San Diego uh, if we're ha handling it. And then secondly, after it gets dropped at the uh, Pasha uh, holding facility, uh, it then gets boarded onto a boat. Um, and yeah, the boat takes it to whichever island you designated on the order. And uh, I'd say in most cases, you're looking at somewhere between um, like high, high 2000s, two thousands to probably like 27 to 4,300 bucks in most cases, depending on where you're at in the country. Cause that first trucking leg transport is gonna be a somewhat determining factor. And then also what type of vehicle, obviously you're hauling a bigger vehicle or a smaller vehicle. Uh, but that's pretty much the reality of what the what it costs to ship to Hawaii. It's a little bit cheaper coming back from Hawaii uh, because the usually the boats don't charge quite as much money on the leg back. Uh, so I would say you're probably looking at like 20, 2300 to like 3600 on the leg back. As far as timing goes, okay, you're typically looking at like somewhere between three to four weeks or so from the point that we literally have the vehicle loaded uh, to the point that it's in Hawaii. Okay, because what it is is, it, let's just say you're in the Midwest, we probably need a few days to get the initial transport set up. Then once it's loaded, it's on a truck, you're looking at another few days, three to five days to get it to San Diego. So then you're at about eight days-ish at that point. Then typically it's gonna sit at the Pasha holding facility in San Diego for three to four days, three to five days in most cases. Uh, now you're at like 13, 14 days, um, and then it'll get loaded. The actual vessel transport on the boat takes somewhere between five to eight days. Uh, so now you're at like, you know, 21, 22 days, uh, and then it gets docked. It takes a couple days for them to unload the car. So it's available for you to pick up at whatever island you're at. Um, and then it's pretty much available. So you're looking at maybe, you know, 20 to 27 days or so to typically get it done. There's a vessel that runs pretty much every week back and forth uh, with really both those companies. Um, so that's basically their scheduling in terms of how quick it's moving. Now I will say one particular island, which we actually have a customer right now that I hope we're, we're trying to get his shipment pushed forward, but Hilo is such a high demand island it's hard, that one is just a challenge because uh, I don't know what it is. They don't have enough boat space or something. And even if we get the cars to, you know, s delivered to the holding facility very early, uh, they might not be able to get it on a boat for a couple of weeks. And it's very hard for us to know which boat to try to even get it on until we have the actual first leg of the transport set up. Uh, because you know, one, we, we can't really set up the boat until we have it actually on the way. Cause we don't even know which, you know, which boat we're going to be able to get it on. Um, so high low is a challenge. I will tell you that. But other than that, it's usually a 20 to 27 day process, uh, from beginning to getting it in Hawaii. Um, 
and it's tricky because the the, the uh, drop-off locations at both ends will charge you storage fees of usually around 20 to 25 dollars a day if you don't have the unit picked up or it gets there too early so if it gets there too early or you don't get there you know it, quick enough to get it picked up on either end they're charging you storage fees Anyway, it's not really that complicated. It's pretty simple going there, coming back, just a couple documents, one payment, and that's it. You're pretty much picking it up on one end or the other, as long as whoever you're dealing with is even remotely competent. Uh, it is a fairly straightforward process. So anyway, that should do it for this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Be sure to hit up airride.com, A-I-R-R-Y-D.com. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one.